there. Ah, uh, nothing over this way. I thought there was something, but it's apparently not. So the only other way is up further by blowing up those bombs. I might be able to activate something else. Just like that. Oh, that's really cool. It goes all the way up there. And now that sand fills in that area there. And that allows us to go forward. I think that's all the buildings then. If I'm not mistaken. So let's see what's up this way. A library. Mythology 1, The Curse. Because the Monk Town Sanctuary is the dwelling of a powerful god, disturbing the holy tranquility would surely be a, bring great disaster. The valley's oldest known theology, theologist once wrote of a curse that would great bring great peril if one were to disturb the sanctuary. According to the same theologist, the only way to revert the curse is to bring back silence into the sanctuary. Mythology 2, The Sanctuary. The Monk Town Sanctuary is uh, an inter in integral part of Monk Town and is accessible from many different houses. There are plenty of secret paths leading to the sanctuary. As legend goes, our ancestors once angered the gods who watch over the valley. To atone for their sins, all descendants must watch over and protect the spirits resting within the temple. If a spirit were to awaken, then the writhing curse will no doubt break free. Okay, so we check those. Don't think there's anything else here. Let's go further in. Okay, there's more books here. Okay. Nature one, pea hats. Pea hats are uh, tenacious creatures. Their combative skills are unrivaled by any other monster. Pea hat monster hunters utilize an interesting strategy against them. Requiring bo both sword and shield. The shield can throw their rotors off balance, giving the sword an opening to attack the root. Nature 2, Deku Scrubs. Deku Scrubs are distrustful and shady creatures. They will never trust you and only act peaceful when they, uh, they feel weak. Even if you ever get the Deku Pass to talk to them, they will still try to scam you by selling you overpriced items. Interesting. Interesting stuff. I, 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 it's fine. It's helpful stuff. Okay, fairy. Fiction 1. Fairies. In a faraway land, many fairies live. Each one of these fairies is cr uh, created out of nothing but dust, magic, and a purpose. Some have the purpose to heal, while others have the purpose to be a companion. Very rarely, a fairy with a larger purpose is born. However, these fairies live with a tragic life. As soon as they fulfill their purpose, they turn back into dust, with their heroic duties often left forgotten. Fiction 2, Soul Magic. There is a magic spell that lets the user bind a soul into an object. This makes the object uh, much more powerful and can give it magical abilities. Uh, one use uh, might one use might be to create a spell that binds the soul of the of a mouse to a bomb, allowing it to run. Fiction 3, Staphos. It is said that there is a place which, uh, which can turn a human into a Staphos. Many bloodthirsty warriors would seek out this place as their life nears its end. Now their pained souls roam the land of Hyrule, eternally floating in... Eternally fighting any brave warrior they encounter. I think that's all of the things here. I'm pretty sure, but I feel like there's supposed to be something else here because there's nothing else I can do. So what have I missed? What have I missed? I'm sure one of those things was a hint that I'm supposed to use or something. But what exactly? Let me think. I can't figure... I, I, none of those things I can think of a way would which would help. Not exactly, anyway. It was mostly just world building. 
for this game specifically. Um, we found the way up. We need bomb chews. Um, I'm missing something, but I don't know what. There's a cow here, but I don't think that's for anything. But I can also play a Pona song. But I don't have an empty bottle for any milk, which is probably what's just here to give me. Moo! What a nice song! It reminds me of the pasture. Songs what makes me feel good. I feel produce a lot of milk. Oh, it's too bad. You have to, don't have to put it in. If you did, I could give you some. Okay, so that's not that. We've already been up here, so it's not up here. The whole reason we went back here was for other stuff, so... I think I remember having trouble with this as well. Anyway, because the sun, the sun on the ground here is, makes me feel like there's something else. But probably not exactly. What would it be? <laughs> I assume it has something to do with the library. So, but what? Also, where does this bridge go? Because that probably connects to the library. So there's, some, there's probably something in the library that allows us to move on. Ah! Scream! Scrim! Big scrim! Okay, um... That's not a path over there. Why are they screaming? I don't know. Let's go over this way. Okay, so if I had to guess... Oh, this has stuff on it. Allowing us to push it and pull it. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I, I just you should use my eyes, you know? There's no secrets, there's just is. Okay. And over here is... A Deku Stick! Exactly what I needed. Um... We can also grab onto this. Oh my goodness, that was close. And this takes us over here, but before we do that, we should attack with a, a thing, because that'll allow us to block the bomb. Okay, there we go. So let's go up this way then. That's kind of a cool way to do that, once you figure out where you're supposed to be going. Monk Town Sanctuary. There's torch there, which I think I need to activate after I'm on this platform. So let's do that. Because that makes it move across. There's a switch down there, but I probably don't want to jump down to try and hit that from above, because I will get stuck. Uh, but let's go over this way. Oh! Enemy! Boss! Oh, it's a P-hat, okay. We can use our shield, but we can also just- Ow! Ah! Uh, stand inside and basically just win, hopefully. Ow! Oh, bad. No, take it slow. Or just get hit when I have no choice, I guess. That works too. Well, that didn't take me that far back, at least. Please. Thank you. Okay, well, that was a little bit rude. That's probably where the box is over here, because you can get hearts from them. Probably, if you need them. But it's not going to give me because I don't need them. Okay. It's fine. I play video game. Okay. P hat. Let's try this again. Okay, that's a lot better than using that beam like that. <laughs> anyway. Let's see what we get. This is probably bomb shoes? No. Bomb trees come after, okay. Yeah, this is this this is what I think it is, and not the other thing that I thought it was. This is the empty bottle. We can put something in it and use it, so. Ah, uh, so let's equip that. Looks like there are two empty bottles by the bar on that. In the subscreen. But now we can use the blue fire. 
to melt this red ice. And the switch back there should allow us to get the other treasure chest, so... Let me just cancel that and do that. We can also get milk now, we can also just do all the things, basically. Man, I love the way that the red ice and blue fire look. But anyway, that opens up the bars, releasing the redeads. Which means that the Gerudos are gone. Link, look outside! Okay. Because now the sanctuary isn't being disturbed by them being here, trying to have the treasure. We're all good now. This whole valley is saved, basically, by them not being here. We get a piece of heart as well. That's not what I thought that was. That was I thought that was going to be bomb shoes, but I guess we can go to the bomb shoe shop now. Because, uh, if we go over this way... In place of all the Redeads are now actual people. We are truly in your debt, hero. What? You wonder why I called you a hero? Because of the hero's shield on your back, of course. And well, you lifted the curse. Thanks a lot, kid. Okay. I don't want to- I don't think I'm going to take the time to talk to every person, but I'll talk to a few people. Have you been to the library? We have a lot of books about the curse that was cast upon this town. Now that everything is back to normal, why don't not visit the Bomchu shop here in town? I'm sure Bomchus would benefit a young go-getter like yourself. It's such a cool transition between them being redheads and now the actual NPCs. No response? He's still recovering from the curse. I, like, I actually think that's a great usage of that particular NPC model for that. Because it makes it seem like he's going back to normal, I guess. It truly is a shame that a gang of thieves would invade our tranquil sanctuary. This valley is very religious. We must keep our guard of our sanctuary or else. Well, you saw what happened. Okay, so let's go get bomb juice because we can just get those now. Welcome. Just gonna buy some of these. We probably need one. And now we can go. No, I don't want to buy anything else. I'm good. That spent a fair bit of rupees on that, so I, don't, I hopefully don't need to spend more rupees on that. We can also get some milk on the way out, because that'll be useful to just be able to heal when we need it. Like, after getting through this area, I, I appreciate the atmosphere of it a lot more. Okay. Uh, that one. Had to think about which directions to press for the thing. Moo, what a nice song. It reminds me of the pasture. It feels so good to produce some milk. Here you go. And we get some milk. Got milk. Milk achieved. Let's go. Back into the deep woods. Get to experience more of this place. I, I, I really like the atm atmosphere here. So I think we need to go back this way. Probably. I think this is probably, yeah, this is, this is here. Cool, so we can blow up this wall. Do you say anything new now that a bomb choose, maybe? Hey, you there! Yeah, you already said this. Please show me a bomb shoe. I trust that you can find a way to blow up that wall over there with a bomb shoe. Find a way to get past the Deku guards. No, please, no. You, I'm not. You have to just walk next to them. And they'll talk to you. So. Please. Okay. So let's just blow this up, I guess. It probably would be just best to just hold on to it. Let it blow up the normal way. Let's go in here. See what's all all this is about. I really like the mushroom-like things. 
growing on the trees and all that. Okay, let's get this. Which is... The Deku Pass. The gate to the Deku Grove will now open for you. Cool. It's not what I thought I was gonna get, but that's good, I guess. What's like the, like, fog stuff? Or the purple glow from the mushrooms, I guess. Possibly. Thanks for helping my brother and I. Did you get fi already figure out 23 is number one? I did. It's the secret Deku code. It means 231. You wouldn't have figured that out on your own, would you? I mean, I did already, so I clearly did. Thanks for helping my brother and I take our Deku Pass and chase down that fairy collector. Now the guards will let you enter the Deku Grove. Okay. So I think now the best way to get back to there would probably be to go this way. Because the, the light leads us up. And I really like the use of these... Like, light patches because... Normally they take you to a different area, and I guess it kind of is a de different area, but it's also the same area. And it just works so well like this. Also, that was the wrong way, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I, I realized my mistake. It's fine. There are two patches of light, and I went in the wrong one. Okay, well, let's go this way. It's a really beautiful game. Okay, so we can go this way now. The Deckers are just gone. Okay. That's just it, I guess. Just gotta ignore them. <laughs> okay. Deku Road. I like this atmosphere already. Also, if we look at the map, we can see we've already gone to several of the places. In fact, probably most of the places at this point. There's only one other place after this, so... What does this song remind me of? I don't know, but it's really cool. Let's get this, though. Carefully. Since it's just here for some reason. All it took was a bomb chew. And we get a piece of heart, which means we have another heart container. But I think there's still more pieces of heart to find, so... It's definitely not the last one. Okay, let's go down Deku Road. Oh, hello. How did you, a human, get in here? Are you here to trade with a little deed, perhaps? Nope, I'm good. Let's take a look at this place. I, I remember there being a few secrets to find here, but I don't know where exactly. Well, I know there's one here with this giant Deku statue thing. That's actually a really cool thing to have is this Deku like statue. It's just a simple object, but it, it, having it look like one of the Deku just adds to it. But we just need to hit it with the sword beam and it will give us another piece of heart, so there we go. Now there's also an upper path this way, I think. It might be going from somewhere else though, so we're gonna need to keep going this way. So peaceful for some reason. Like oddly peaceful. I think I want to do this possibly. Because I think I need to hit both of those eyes with bomb chews, but that's going to be difficult because of the way that bomb chews move around. Very difficult because of the way that bomb chews move around. Kind of. I don't know what's better angles for this. I don't know if I want to spend bomb trees on this. This much. That's definitely not going to hit, but that's fine. Just want to get the right angle. There we go. That's both of them. But I don't think that did anything. Okay. <laughs> Just wasting bomb trees trying to do that. Probably something else I need to do that I can't see very well from here. Or maybe I'm just doing it a bit of ahead of myself. 
Are you up for a little game, young traveler? Try to blow up the skull's eyes. Hey, I bet you can't. Oh, do I need to do it now? <sighs> okay. That's not gonna hit. Or maybe it will. That's not gonna hit. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. And there we go, that's the other one. I hit both of them. Is that good enough? Or do I need to have them both within a certain amount of time? Or maybe once we hit them... Hit, hit, I, I don't know. I'm wasting bomb juice and I don't want to do that. But I do want to hit both of those. Is there a... No, I can't do that. It's a shame. How are they missing? How are they actually missing that much? I'm, I probably am going to just leave it there for the moment. Might come back to that if possible. But I don't want to have to get more bomb trees, which I probably will at this point. At this rate, I only have four left, so... But that's one thing we can do for something. Also, this area looks cool. That way it lines back. This way leads forward, and there's another one of the Deku things here. I don't know if it's going to have uh, another thing for us. Probably not. But anyway, do you stock up on rupees? One of our merchants has a special offer on a rare item. Hmm, by the looks of your shoes, you are just a poor peasant, aren't you? Wow. So rude. I think I'm going to need to go this way before going back the other way. Deku Grove. Please listen closely, Link. I fear this may be the last time we are able to speak like this. Look around and observe. This forest may seem at first glance to be simply peace peaceful dwelling, yet I can sense the presence of the fairies. They are nearby. This is not at all... I sense, though. You surely must feel it too, the darkness creeping towards us. Toward us. It almost... As if, if you listen closely... You can hear their cries. When I heard the demon was nearing the forest, I left to stop him. I wanted to pr protect all our fairies. As you can see though, I failed and nearly lost my life. Rather than die a useless death, I sealed my soul within this sword and waited for you. I waited for you, Link. In to return, I just knew you would. I'm sorry I couldn't be of any more help to you, but I'm glad we spent this time together. So please, give this adventure a hopeful end. I'll be there beside you. Always. And now we're going to continue through Deku Grove. So let's do that. We're going to need some rupees though, because there are several Deku salesmen around here, I believe. Oh boy. Let's get started. Hello there. I have a bottle filled with the, pu uh, the pure Deku Grove air. It's truly a great souvenir. It'll only be 40 rupees. Okay. Is this another bottle? I suppose. Thank you very much. Yep. Okay. But they still have very... Expensive prices for things, so... Uh, let me just set that to a different thing for the moment, I guess. And I'm also going to set out that. And let's keep looking to see what else we can find. There are a lot of holes in the ground to check. So that's going to be my main thing. Probably. We also need more rupees, so... I'm going to try and find them. Anywhere I can. Young boy, I need to, need to drink a lot of milk. So your bones... 
Oh, well, you need to drink a lot of milk so your bones grow. How about our famous Deku Nut Milk for only 40 rupees? No way. Yikes, kid, you are truly missing out. I assume you can get milk from that if you want it, though. So that's something. Uh, no rupees? <laughs> Rupeeless? There's another piece of heart up there. I think I want to go up onto that stump, possibly, or one of the one of these stumps at least. I know that no, there's something in one of these stumps that I need. Okay, jump up there. Good stuff. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Anything in the grass? Nope. There's just butterflies, so I think there's something there. But there isn't. The most- I'm selling my most valuable item, a piece of heart, for only 99 rupees. Is it a deal? I don't have enough rupees for that. Yikes, kid, you're truly missing out. Well, I'm gonna need a lot more rupees for that, then. Okay, so we need 99 rupees, plus whatever we need for the next item that we need. Just, we need so much stuff. It's fine. Anyway, let me check this bush. Nope, nothing, it's just bugs. I might take that, actually. I remember seeing a soft soil somewhere, but I didn't... I think? But I didn't do anything with it. And now I'm concerned, because that's something I'm probably gonna have to do at some point. Probably. Let me check this log over here, then. Or the stump. Get it correct. Technically correct. Okay. Gotta check these before I talk to you. Blue rupee and bugs. Green rupee and bugs. I'm selling high quality Deku sticks. Funny, 15, 15, uh, sure, why not? I don't think they're anything special, but I'll grab them anyway. That's kind of a waste, but it's fine. More grass with not much in it, but bugs. Okay. We've cleaned up a lot of the holes that we needed to check, so that's at least pretty good. There's also the bean salesman over there, which I'm not sure if he's selling beans or not. He might be, though. I would, I would believe this game to do that. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Welcome to the rarity shop. I opened my shop in the Deku Forest so I can get a lot of my yummy Deku nuts. Would you like to trade your Deku nuts for a bunny hood mask? How about 20 Deku nuts? Sure. You don't have enough Deku nuts. Ah, oh, no. I need my Deku nuts. I'm not addicted. I just really like them. Chomp, chomp, chomp. I need five more. Okay. That's possible. But I need the bunny hood because that's going to be a very useful item for so many things. So, there's also another stump over there. I like that the sword sword turns green whenever you swing with it and activate the thing. I recognize this song, I think, from something, but I might just be recognizing it just in general. Okay, more grass. Give me money. Okay. Check the rest of this. Okay. I'm selling high quality Deku sticks. One one stick for 15 rupees. Nope. They're really trying to scam me. Okay. Just gonna keep reloading areas and getting gr more ru grass rupees. I don't know. To spawn. Rupee grass. Okay. Uh, anything up here? I really need... The Deku Nuts. Somehow. But I need to find the Dekus then. Which I think they were on the entrance to the road. So we're gonna have to do that. I think this way leads further into the end of the game. Once we get some other stuff first, I believe, so. Because if I go over here. Yeah, that's the way forward. If you expect to get over this chasm, then tough luck, kid. You'll need to be able to glide over it somehow. Okay. Also, the grass respawned. That's perfect. I don't know if I need that many more rupees, though. 
Also, it's not actually... It didn't actually respawn and respawn, it just respawned. It just reloaded, basically, but not actually reload. Re yeah. Respawn, not reloaded. Hey there, would you like to visit my Deku Baba Garden? It'll cost you 20 rupees. Oh my goodness, I guess that's what I'm doing. Because I need Deku Babas, but also... Yeah. I don't want to go back all the way to the road. Just for more of those, so... Also, there's a heart over there that I need to get at some point, so I'm gonna... Keep that in mind. Okay. And these Deku Babas should give me what I need. Like, fairly quickly. Not quite enough. There we go. Maxed out. I don't think there's anything else in here, which would be a pretty good way to hide. Another secret is just having it in here. With the everything else. Because that's what video games normally do, is they have a secret area, and then they have a secret in the secret area. Okay then. Now let me see if I can reach the heart from up here, but I don't think I can. Not like that. Anyway, we'll get it in a second. Chomp, 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 welcome to the rarity shop. I open my shop in the deck first so I can get the 20 deck nuts. And we get the bunny hood, where it was C. Not only are the hoods long ears super cute, but they also allow you to run faster and jump higher. Thank you for trading with me, chomp, chomp, chomp. So we have the bunny hood now, which is going to be super helpful. I traded every rare thing I own, but I'm still hungry. How about a hundred Deku nuts for my pants? I can't do that because I only can hold up to 20. You don't have enough Deku nuts. I need my... Okay, it'd be really funny though if I could do that. But I can't do that, so... That's a neat detail though. Uh, but anyway, now this is going to allow us to get over here. And then over here, because we can just go so fast and jump so far. So, all these good things 